We have arrived in Venice. The weather is beautiful. We are looking for a breakfast spot. We just want to have like cappuccino and croissant. Today we were actually thinking about taking a day trip to two of the islands that are outside of Venice. They're called Murano and Burano. We are excited and I'm wearing, I kind of have to do an outfit check. I'm wearing a dress from Bash Paris and it's so beautiful. I've been waiting for a special moment to wear it and today is the day. We ended up having a sandwich and a lemonade instead and it was freaking delicious. It's so funny, you can basically go to any cafe on the corner and you're like guaranteed gonna have some good food when you're in Italy. Oh. took about like 20 minutes or oh there's a lizard on the wall <laughs> okay but this island is known for its long tradition of glass making so this island is filled with like super cute stores that sell like glass souvenirs so we are gonna have a look <music> We haven't had gelato since we arrived in Italy, so it's about time. We are also so hot. <laughs> hot, you know? Nah. <laughs> so ice cream is very necessary to cool down a bit. We are gonna do some research and find the best ice cream parlor here in Murano. We thought it would be fun to go to like a glass blowing factory to see the souvenirs being made mm -hmm. and we found one called Vetreria Artistica Colleoni. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Col no, Colli Colleoni. <laughs> I think you need to pay like 10 euros for admission but I saw some reviews that you will be able to spend those 10 euros in their souvenir shop so it's kind of like you know a two-in-one deal. Oh my god guys it was incredible seeing this guy blowing the glass and making these sculptures it only took him about like four minutes to make it he was so quick it's just so amazing how talented he was like and i got to pick out something from their showroom for 10 euros so i picked these turkeys earrings they're so pretty and now i have like a memory from our murano trip now we are taking a boat to Burano. We've had so much fun in Murano and learning about the glass blowing. It was amazing. So 
So we have arrived in Burano and Burano is a small fishing village and it's known for its colorful houses as you can probably see in the background and the plan is just to stroll around it's quite a small town so we will probably be able to kind of get a good feeling about the island in a few hours This is literally the cutest and most wholesome village we've ever been to. Yeah, it feels like we're living in a Wes Anderson movie or something. The houses are so colorful and it's just so peaceful here. When strolling the streets here in Burano, you will notice all of these boutique selling all types of lace products and the reason for that is because of high demand of Venetian lace so they moved the production here in Burano so that's why they have all types of lace products here and it's so pretty So we just sat down at a restaurant and since this is like a fisherman village they mostly serve like seafood here and we are very excited we are trying to decide what we should have i love that you always get bread olive oil and balsamic as a little appetizer As you guys know, me and Berta love tiramisu, so of course we had to order tiramisu. This one is a bit funny looking, but <laughs> hopefully it tastes better than it looks. Taste test. It does taste better than it looks. Our island adventure has come to an end. We are about to take the boat back to Murano, and then we need to walk to another station, and then <laughs> back to Venice and then we need to take a train to the Airbnb that we are staying at. It's about two hour mission to get back home but it's been such an amazing day today. We really enjoyed visiting these two islands and we highly recommend if you are in Venice to take a day trip and visit these two islands. We definitely preferred Burano. It's just amazing so you should definitely put it on your bucket list if you want to visit a super cute cozy and colorful village then this is for you silly us we thought we had to go to murano to get another train to go to venice but Apparently not, and we are the only one who like <laughs> left left the boat and it was like filled with people and then we just watched it like go to Venice and now we're just sitting in Murano. <laughs> it's so typical us. We are just like doing everything like last minute and we just like ran out of the boat because we thought we were missing the other boat. Oh so we are just you know sitting here waiting for the other boat to come pick us up. We have to wait like half an hour. <laughs> But we are gonna end the vlog here. Our next destination is going to be Florence and we are so, so excited. So stay tuned to next week when we upload our Florence vlog. Bye.